Hello everyone, and welcome back to Zelda Ocarina of Time. So, last episode we went and got tons of Skoshulas, we just needed one left, and then after that we're going to get a bunch of heart pieces, and then, finally, we'll go to the Temple of Time. So, that's the plan for this episode. Um, so let's go get that Skoshula. Okay, so it was in this room. Uh, yep, okay. It, not, not that one. That one, wait, over there. Okay, so we can just jump on the stairs over there. Just like, um, yeah, not like that. Shoot. <laughs> okay, um, apparently, um, you could just go to the left here, and there's vines. Uh, boomerang, always come back, and you destroyed a gold sculpture, you got a token providing, you destroyed it. Awesome, that's the last one we need to do for the, for this part of the game. So we got 43 sculptures. um, now we just need to get the heart pieces, uh, by the end of this episode we should have 10 hearts and 2 heart pieces. All together. So let's go do that. Making that job bridge work. I had no idea that you could climb this. I don't know why, but like I thought it was just like an aesthetic stairway. Oh, you get rupees too. That's really cool. Okay. <laughs> I'm just amazed that uh, all those times I didn't know about that. We don't see a lot of Gerudo niche parts. Something fishy is going on. Huh. Oh, is he talking about uh, Ganon? Yeah, it's, it's a little fishy. <laughs> I mean, he's already like tacked down. Please. With C, please sell me contents of a bottle. <laughs> I like how it's like a beggar, like a poor person begging, but then he's willing to give me money. That's interesting. It's not really like, it's a trade thing, you know? Okay, so this is the Bamju Bowling Alley. Uh, Bamjus are these things. Uh, <laughs> what? Oh, well, guess, welcome to our Gunning Edge Amusement Center. The Bonchu Bowling Alley. Do you want to know what you can win? Well, it's a secret. I can tell you until you've been It's 30 rupees per game. Do you want to play? Yeah, sure. Okay, aim for the hole at the center of the... Let the Bonchus go. Okay. Oh, almost forgot. You can win this. Okay, so bomb tubes are like these bombs that are mice, and you put them down and they like roll up. They're pretty cool. They're really nice items to have later on. Uh, or soon, actually. I think you win them. You actually buy them now, I believe. But yeah. Just gotta do that. Oh, I waited too long. Okay, so yeah. You do that. And then you gotta do it for each one. So... Let's see what I get from here. I might turn. Yeah, it's a little too far to the right there. Okay. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. Good. And there we go. Okay. This one has a giant chicken. Giant go. In the middle of the stage. That's fun. This should be oh screw you, Kiko. All right, a uh, couple rounds later, got some more muns. Okay, this one, I get the heart piece, so let's try this. This angle worked last time. Nice. Winner! <laughs> and we got the heart piece. 
You've got a piece of heart. Mwah. This is a really odd stage. Like, I don't know, like, the background's very late 80s modern, even though it's supposed to be, I don't know what, I don't know what era it's really supposed to be, but it's supposed to be kind of medievalish. I'm not trying to do... I see they left the corpse. See, he's still here. He's still not moving anymore. Alright, so this is the treasure box shop. Um, it's a game where you can, like, um, use multiple keys, essentially, to, like, go through different chests. He's describing right here, but... <laughs> um, and they're secret, so, like, one... Each room has two chests, one has rupees, one has the key, but if you don't get the one the key, then you just turn it over. So got those. But yeah, there's a way to actually cheat through this one. If you later get the Lens of Truth, which I can get later on in the game, you could just cheat through all of them and see through the chests. But I decided to just kind of wing it, and it took me a couple tries. But yeah, let's open this and grab the hot piece. <laughs> yeah, we got it. Cool. So, I forgot I got this art piece. I spent hours on it, but I got this rupee. i never seen this rupee in this game before, actually. And it's worth a nice amount. But yeah, that was pretty cool. I think that replaces the heart piece. But yeah, I spent hours on that. It was kind of it was ridiculous. Anyways, uh, I don't think I ever showed the windmill in this game, actually, yet. But you could talk to this guy. Little cheerful windmill dude. Go round and round and around. What fun. I'm so happy. I'm a music man who loves to go round and around. Go round and around. I'm trying to come up with a musical theme inspired by this windmill. Going around and around and around. Cool. That's foreshadowing for a particular event in the future. But yes. Okay. So. Next one, we need to light this torch on fire and light our other things on fire without getting water on it because it's Zora's domain. So you could just walk through the water here, carrying fire. Uh, get this one, and then there's two more, and then a chest appears. Yep, you go through the waterfall with fire because of logic. And there we go. I like how Link like slowly turns to the camera. Wherever the camera is facing, because like when they had that different camera shot, it, just, it made it like turn a little bit. I thought it was interesting. I don't know, weird things like that. <laughs> you got another heart piece. Yes, yes, another heart piece. Yes. Waterfalls, chest. The, the great view. This is wonderful. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's even better view. All right, get this Kiko up here. Uh, run away from crazy fat man and go over here and we go in here and the cuckoo disappears and there's a cow in a cage inside with a heart piece and there's a guy over there just staring at us <laughs> I I don't understand like what happened here to get this cow inside in the cage like this with a giant hole in the back but you know we got the heart piece so yeah, Mr. Cow, or Mrs. Cow. How are you, Mrs. Cow? Yes. <laughs> okay. So we gotta put bomb the Kool-Aid man. Uh, it took me a few tries for this, but uh, randomly a heart piece could come out. So there you go. As a red rupee and a blue rupee. So let's get the red rupee. And then blue rupee, and then the little heart piece. Yes. <laughs> I like how the Kool Aid Man kind of pushes the heart piece around. I wonder if we could clip out to the wall from that. Here we got the heart piece. 
<laughs> it's still it's still but it's still pushing me. That's funny. I wonder if there's a way to like speed run the game using this tactic, like where you have something in your hand like that, but have something else push you. I don't know what other scenario where that would happen though. But yeah, that's it's it's pretty funny. Okay, now I'm just too far away from it. Cool. Yes. Okay. So, you know the seed I planted down there to get the... Because there's that heart piece above Dodongo's cavern. Uh, apparently, you could just kind of backflip off this cliff. And land right there. And just pick it up. I thought that was kind of a fun little cheat to get it. I mean, you get it no matter what anyways, but, you know. You get it as a child, which I thought was pretty cool. So I wasted the jolt, that, uh, that bean down there, but oh well. Just... Some things, you know. Now I'm gonna go hide in this crack. A little crevice, walking the crevice. Yes. Those textures. Oh, more Satan's shit on me. Good. This reminds me of Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Okay, so this place is hot, so I can't stay here for that long. I have about a minute left. But yeah, there's a heart piece right here too. So that's not fault. Mm, okay. <laughs> we, we got the heart piece. Okay. And get back up here. Hey, Navi, what do you want? Anything informational? Anything necessary for what we're doing? Let's go check out inside time full of time. Okay, Navi. You know what? We're, we're, we're in a hot place, right? And I got fire. So I'm just gonna overheat and just, you know, get myself a stroke. Goodbye, cruel world. Good. Nothing happened. It's really pretty at night. I don't remember if it did it day or day last time I got the owl to fly me down here. That rupee is stuck inside that man. I cannot grab the rupee. That rupee is forbidden by me from me. P hats. So are P hats animals or are they plants? I think they're plants, but they're in I don't know. It's interesting. Anyways, I'm getting chased. Uh, good. <laughs> Just gonna matrix around them. Don't mind me. And there's apparently, behind this waterfall, another heart piece. Man, I love this music. Uh, not a great time. I would actually argue this is at least one of my top five favorite themes in this game. This music right here. Grudo's. Uh, Grudo Village or whatever. Grudo Valley. I like it. You got the Okay, time to jump down. Okay. <laughs> Did Coco just slowly walk off the cliff? Good. We got another heart piece. Nice. Okay. So now we gotta go fish. I was here before, but I didn't really know what to do here. <laughs> but yeah, apparently there's a heart piece here if you get like the 10 pound fish. So, I'll be back in like an hour. <laughs> I'm really bad at fishing in this game. Oh boy, I love uh, Biggs levels in Sonic Adventure XD. Director's cut the best, yes. For Froggy, where are you? I hate that. I hate's a strong word. I was gonna say I hate that game, but it's more so I just hate that level. The the, the big side of the game. It's literally just rage inducing. I was watching Game Governments play it not too long ago. Well, I don't know, I guess it's pretty long ago now. It's been a while since they played it. But they played the whole thing, which I thought was amazing. Anyways, yeah, I watched Game Grips. We got the fish. <laughs> Wow! Wow! This is a real lonker. <laughs> lurker. Good. Alright. This fish is huge. It looks like a new record. It weighs 10 pounds. Yep, we got it. 
All right, can, can we fish it back out? That'd be fun. Maybe we could just like, you know, just fish in the fish tank. Okay, can I do it? I don't know if I can, probably not. Okay. I think he wears a hat later on, you could steal that or something like that we could do. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. There's also randomly like a hole you could put here through exploding. Ouch. Really a flush wound. Okay. <laughs> Let's go down the rabbit hole. Hello, Mr. Deku Scrub. Alright, you win. A return for spying me. I'll sell you a piece of heart. One piece for time, please. Awesome. That's a really good deal for a uh, heart piece. I think you just got ripped off, but you're also throwing your life. Oh, cool. You give me three rupees in exchange as well. So I literally just spent like seven rupees on this. That's great. Good. <laughs> okay. So, that's just everything. We have 10 hearts and 2 heart pieces and 43 gold sculptures. So, in the next episode, we will go to Temple of Time and see what happens there. Uh, I won't say anything in case there's some random person that really doesn't know and is watching me, in which case, wow, I'm surprised they're watching me first for a Let's Play of Ocarina of Time. But most people probably know what's going to happen. So it's going to be exciting. This is the second half of this game. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I am the second gamer. My name's is Zach. Uh, I, I'm an adult. Kind of. Yeah, I would say I, I'm in the era of adult. I, I can legally do anything an adult can do. Anyways. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye-bye.